Hey y'all, Sarah Rodridge Farm, and today it is a beautiful February day outside. So I'm taking advantage of that, and I'm building a little makeshift compost thing that um, I had seen. It's right by my lean-to. Um, you know, took a couple of pallets. I got plenty of those laying around because I'm hoarder. And I stood them up here next to this lean-to, and then I'm I've tied them together here with. Um, like a ratchet strap type thing because well I only half build things because I'm not very good at it and then I'm going to put a couple posts in the ground to help actually hold it because we live up on a hill and it gets really windy so I'm going to beat this in the ground here in a minute but let me show you what I'm talking about here oh say hi Eva <laughs> watch out and goofy okay so anyhow pallet leaning on this side my beautiful tying job with the ratchet strap pallet over here and I guess when I build a lean-to I take it literally because it's really got a lean to it I mean <laughs> look at this gap in that that's just funny that's just awful actually so anyhow but my goal is like I saw in the the picture is put some soil down in these and then I saw where they had leaf lettuce planted out of it and then um then I'll put compost down inside here from where I clean it out the barn and stuff like that but with the compost you start out with you need some brown material you need some leaves some dead some dead grass or something some sticks and twigs a little girl dressed in blue um get out of there you ain't compost um yeah. now there's that gap again <laughs> it's pretty bad this thing might liable to fall over this year hope no, i'm fixing to put lamb in there but anyhow um get get that started i threw a couple twigs and stuff in there but i've got some you know manure to put in there and there's some hay and dead grass i don't really want to put a lot of hay in there because i don't want seeds in there because i don't want it to start growing stuff i want it to turn for me the baby doll sheep and stuff was originally in here and then i got them so i've got you know some manure in here and chicken feathers are fine and i got some stuff outside here that i'll use I tried to put my milk cow in here when I owned her for about three minutes, but she decided that um, she didn't want to live here. Mommy, I, I'm going for that. Yeah, baby, you are. Anyhow, the story with the milk cow, I guess, since I'm here. That's my trash bag. I'm a recycler. Um, is we went to the sale. Got it. It was awesome. I was so excited. She had a beautiful bag full of milk. Me and the Amish neighbor went together. She got her one too, so it was like a great day. Okay, and I guess while I'm waiting on my daughter here to bring me something is to show the proximity of the Amish neighbor. It's right there from my lean-to. We literally have a trail we've worn between Joe's house from between the fruit trees. And that's my burn pile. It's too windy to burn up to my random post I put in the ground because I thought I was going to do something didn't do. I drive my husband crazy. There's a little building up there. We have a trail that goes all the way up through there to the house. Kids all play together and everything, but that's where the Amish are. Huh? Okay, anyway, back to the milk cow. Um, she gets hers and we come home, take it down to her house first, and it's down there and you know it they it just unloads so beautifully i was like this is the best day ever this is going to be my birthday christmas anniversary everything in one for a couple years present because he did not want this cow and so anyhow um we get the amish's cow unloaded and mine flips out because you know they're cows they don't like being alone so we get her and we haul her up to our house which we have to go down the road just like two driveways and then um, we get her up here and by now she's just going crazy and the little Amish boys come up to help because well you know we helped them they helped us and my husband's mad oh he's so angry at me now and he's like I'm gonna tell you what she's gonna do she's gonna go bust through this gate and um she's gonna take off out of here she's gonna jump over this and take off and I was like oh whatever you know me and Eva done decided her name her name is what Eva mm -hmm. it was Stella yeah. Stella the stupid milk cow no, somebody at my school named Stella. Well, Stella's probably nice at your school, but the milk cow was not. No. no Plus, that no. girl was new before we got the milk cow. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyhow, um, we we get her turned out of the stock trailer, 
and I get the gate closed and I'm just like, oh my God, that was so easy. And she turned around and busted through the wooden gate that we have here. Let me show you this. Let me see. Where is it at? Yeah, so anyhow, she busts through the wooden gate. It's on some decent heavy hinges. She busted the post up. And then, so, yeah, busts through that, rips off that there board going underneath of it because she's not tall, or she's too tall for that. And then she barrels, like standing still, stinking Houdini that she is. She jumped over this here fence. Yeah, I went in here for jumping. Yeah. Right there. It's pushing about four and a half feet tall or so from the ground up. And she beat cheeks down the driveway. And anybody who knows, see what I'm saying? She broke my boards. My poor lean to is probably why it's leaning more. But back to the story. She, um, yeah, she totally beat cheeks down the driveway. And then we went, um, my husband took that's a dog cage, baby girl. Right. I don't know. Well, I got water in it. That's because that's a feed pan, a water pan. Yeah, sorry for the what? distraction. Mommy, um, this, my husband goes down the driveway. He's like, I told you, I told you. Anybody who knows him knows that he's just loves being right. And now I'm angry. And so he's going down there looking for him. And the Amish boys are walking with me. And I was like, Oh my gosh, he's gonna kill me. I'm gonna have to move in with you. Arnie's gonna divorce me. And I'm gonna have to live with you. I'm glad y'all just built on. And he was like, oh my god. I was like, okay, dude, I'm joking. But we get up here. There ain't no cow to be seen. At all. I mean, like, she's just gone. And I was just like, oh, I can't face him. This is so bad. So anyhow, um, I go and I'm like, I'm going down to daddy's. <coughs> we get in the car and I'll be darned if that cow ain't standing down in the neighbor's drive down in the neighbor's field. So we stop up there and I'm like, dude, that's our cow. And they're like, oh, we thought it was the Amish's. And I was like, no. And I'm sitting there looking at her. And she's just pouring milk out. I mean, she jumped their fence that was woven wire and a strand of barbed wire. And she just jumped it and was standing in there with the horses. Which, you know, if she'd have hung around a few minutes, she'd have learned there's a donkey and stuff up here to be her friend. But, um, anyhow, we get a hold of um, someone and they're like, yeah, we'll just buy her back. We'll buy her from you. And I'm like, all right, cool, because clearly she hates me. And so the next morning they come to get the cow and she's gone. Just gone. It's like she jumped their fence. She's gone. Uh, it was almost two weeks later and we found her over at the Mennonites farm. Just hanging out along their fence line because she couldn't figure out how to get in their fence with their cows. But anyhow, that's the story of stupid Stella who's tormenting me with her milk flow. I never did get any of. And then Arnie wouldn't even let me renege on it being my any present. Like he still says that's my present even though I didn't get a present. Um, all I got was a busted barn that makes me have to fix it to put a 4-H lamb in there again. But the Amish felt bad for me and they bring me up some milk from time to time so that I can make my butter and my cottage cheese and all of that good stuff that we like doing. So that was the horrible story of the milk cow. I guess now, since we've discussed the story of that, seen my little lean-to situation with my compost and stuff in it, we'll get back to finishing the composter. Mommy's got some ADHD too, don't I? Attention deficit disorder. Yeah, let's get some composter finishing being built. Anyhow, I'm gonna hammer this in. Hopefully, hold it tight enough. I was afraid I couldn't use the post driver because, well, it's too long. It'd be down here, and then I couldn't drive it down no how. So, use my hammer. Get it down in here enough. It's kind of loud. Kind of loud. Yeah. Anyhow, <laughs> I got a ways to go. Grandpa yeah. have a one TV huh? in there. Yeah. Oh, is it down all the way? Well, her foot can't reach it no more, so I guess we're about down there. Anyhow, that'll help. Look, Mom. Hold this one in place. Mom, look at it. Yeah, you've done a good job. Yeah, oh, it's still wiggly. It's still pretty wiggly. We got to put one on that corner there and that corner there. And then I'm going to call it done until I fill it up with some soil. Somehow, that's a lot of wasted soil to figure out. 
So I'll have to fashion something or I'll just ignore it and not put nothing in there. It's yeah. probably what we'll do. Cause, well, yeah, when it on it. no, it ain't a ladder. Especially if mommy built it. You definitely can't trust yourself to climb on it. Anyhow, and you can do small it. composter. And We're going to fix them to clean right out the barn here, here in a minute. And you can do one right here. Yeah. Yeah, well, once we get the other straps in there and we wire them up, then we'll take that tie off. Why? Well, mostly because that's a decent ratchet strap we can use for something else. But anyhow, we'll finish this. We'll get some compost going in and after I get everything cleaned out and cleaned up. Like our straw bits and all sorts of other stuff. And then, you know, my kitchen scraps and my eggshells and whatnot like that can go in there. So, I guess... We can buy a pig and put it in here. Well, not in the composter, but we can buy a pig and put it in the little barn there. It used to be a pig barn, didn't it? Everything up here used to be a pig barn. <coughs> but that'll be it for this, I guess. Unless I get a little more idea. Hold on, baby. Go get down. There's some more twigs and stuff in there. Just get a little bit of weight on it, or in it. That way, my stuff don't blow away. Some manure on top. And the baby's assistant, she's gonna be able to do again. But shoot, this here stuff's aged enough that it's probably the most beautiful compost on the room. trying to bring a chair over so she can hold it. Yeah. Let's clean the bar out and I'll just keep throwing it in there and we'll get it piled up good. Meantime, I gotta pound some posts. So that's makeshift composter. I got a compost barrel. But that's the makeshift for the so I guess that's it for today is making my composter. So we'll see y'all next time.